In chapter 2.7, we're proving segment relationships. Uh, two basic postulates for working with segment lengths, uh, segments and lengths are the uh, ruler postulate. Ruler postulate. And which establishes number lines. Right? So it allows us to even measure a figure. And the segment addition postulate. So segment. Postulate, which describes what it means for one point to be between two other points. So, ruler postulate lets us measure on a ruler, right, a figure on a ruler. Um, segment addition postulate lets us say that if A, B, and C are collinear, then point B and point B is between A and C, then A, B. Uh, measure of line segment AB plus measure, measure of line segment BC is equal to the measure of AC. Right? So um, for this example here, it'd be like A with B in the center. Right? And so what segment addition postulate lets us say is that the entire segment is equal to the first part plus the second part. Right? So we have AC, the entire segment, is equal to AB, the first part, plus the measure of BC, the second part. Okay. So um, in chapter 2.7, segment addition postulate is the star of the show. Every proof we're going to be working on is going to use the segment addition postulate in order for us to come up <coughs> with an equation. And then once we have the equation, then we can use our algebraic properties like substitution, addition, and subtraction in order to get to our proof. Right? But whenever you see a figure that looks like this, you should be thinking segment addition postulate to come up with an equation that I can play with. Right? So again, what does segment add post tell us? It tells us the entire measure of the entire segment, AC, is equal to the measure of the first segment plus the measure of the second segment. All right. So our first um, exercise is going to be to justify each of these statements. Um, and so the first one is measure of QA is equal to measure of QA. And um, if you th think back on our algebraic properties, this is same number is equal to same number, or same expression is equal to same expression. This is reflexive property. Now this one here is saying if the line segment AB is congruent with B line segment BC and BC is congruent with CE, then AB is congruent with CE. And so in example two, they're using um, line segments, not the measure. And so we need to use congruency symbols. And what allows us to say this, it's the transitive property. Right? So we have the transitive property. Um, and it's not the transitive property of equality, it's trans prop of congruence. Okay, so when they're congruent statements, we're going to say trans property of congruence. Um, when, if it was measure of AB is equal to measure of BC, we would be saying transitive property of equality. Okay, but regardless, it's the transitive property. And so here um, we have Q is between P and R, then PR is equal to PQ plus QR. That's our star here. That's the segment add pos. Ooh, pos. Right? And if we drew this out, it would look like this. Q is between P and R. So P is over here, R is over there, and Q is between P and R. Right? And what does segment add pos, uh, segment addition postulate let us say? The entire the measure of the entire segment, PR, is equal to the measure of the first part of the segment, PQ, plus the measure of the second part of the segment, QR. Segment addition postulate. Star of our show. Then here we have a measure of AB plus BC is equal to EF plus FG, and measure of AB plus BC is equal to AC then EF is plus FG is equal to AC. So what lets us say this? Well, notice here, right? This might be confusing, but we have here that AC is equal to this expression, right? 
And what we're doing over here is we're coming here and we're taking that same expression and we, we are replacing it with AC. Right? We're taking this expression here and we're replacing it with what it's equal to, namely AC to get to here. So this here would be substitution problem. All right, so let's go ahead and stop there. We can do the examples in the next video.